Hey everyone, Evie here. Welcome back to my channel. I have for you guys today this makeup look that I recreated today. So if you guys want to see how I did that, please keep on watching. First, start by priming our eyes with eye primer. Today, I'm going to use my MAC Utterly Becoming Paint Pot. And this is just what it looks like. It's a nice um, beige color. It doesn't lean pink. It looks more skin tone in my opinion. So I'm going to apply this now with my um, Sigma Precision Flat top brush um the p80 brush and um i like to use this primer when i'm going to do a more natural look because i find that it just really helps um really just helps the look to really put together i'm gonna put it on both eyes but we're only gonna do one eye today cuts back on time and then run a little bit on the eye and what i really like about these um precision brushes that sigma has they really really help apply the product and you don't really have to do um much okay, next we're gonna go in with a peach shade from the sephora palette that i have and i'm going to use my large e60 brush to apply that i'm going to just apply that all over the entire eye And I highly recommend you guys to pick up this palette. I have really been inspired by it since my sister gave it to me. And I've really been coming up with a lot of um, different types of Okay, looks. so now we're going to go on the crease so, with the Sigma E36 brush. And we are going to apply a um, more of like a coppery color, not a bronze color. Precision. That's what the color looks like. And if you hear any noise or anything, it's the morning. My son is home um, due to the weather. So there you go. You want just a very soft um, contrast with the crease. And then we're going to go in um, for a highlight color. We're going to use our E30 pencil brush from Sigma. So you just have to really... Because where the colors are all so matte, I just want a little bit of shimmer. And I'm going to take a little bit of that color and put it right into the, just a teeny tiny bit, not a lot. With my Sigma Waterliner E17 brush, and I'm going to take my Milk Pencil brush, and I'm going to apply the product uh, to the pencil so that I can really get it into the waterline. So I'm going to put that first. And then I'm going to put on top of that another eyeliner because this is going to help it to really pop. And I never do this on camera. So I don't want it to be overpowered in the white. Then I'm going to go in with M Cosmetics Rose Gold. It's called Rose, not Rose. Ugh, Rose Gold, and I absolutely love this for the waterline. And then I'm gonna put that right on top. It's called Penny, and I got it in my Ipsy bag, and I'm just going to apply that under my eye. Um, to finish up the eyes, I forgot to mention that I used the M Cosmetics Waterliner in Bronze Kiss. I put that underneath the eye and I rimmed it up a little bit on the top along with that 
um, Elizabeth Mott penny on top. And then I went in with the Elizabeth Mott mascara on the top and the bottom. And then I went in with my um, Eye Lure lashes from Katy Perry. I thought they really went with the look. Um, when I first wore this look, I actually did not put um, false lashes on. But for the purpose of the video, I'm putting them on today. So um, let's get into the face. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is prime the face. We're going to use today the Naked BB um, Beauty Balm. Um, the Naked Skin Beauty Balm is what I'm trying to say. And if you hear anything at all, my son, like I mentioned, is home. And I know my hair looks a little crazy right now, but I went and styled it a little bit. And I just clipped my bangs back because they're pretty uh, long right now. Um, and so today I wanted to go in with... Um, my Naked Skin Foundation, I haven't used it. I was going to go in with the, um, I'm in shade number 7. I was going to go in with the, the sample of the Benefit one, but I couldn't find it. So I'm just going to use this one today. And you don't really need a lot of it. I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand so you guys can see. That might be too much. And that's what it looks like right there. And I'm going to use my um, Angle Kabuki, the F84. And um, let me just stipple this on my face first. Because it's very liquidy foundation. It's really hard to tell from this distance if I really work the foundation into my face. So I'm just looking down into my other mirror. And then what's left I just put on my neck. Okay, so next we're going to go in with the small contour, the F05 brush. And we're going to use the Sue Devitt powder. And then what's left over I'm just going to put it underneath. And then work it down. And take a little bit more just to contour right here into the hairline. So it could look like the sun hit there. Okay, so now I'm going to use this Tarte blush, uh, blush brush to pick up the blush from the palette that I used. And it is a color that is very similar to um, NARS's Orgasm. These blushes are so small, it's really hard to like apply them. That's why I'm glad I have this brush because it, the way it's um, shaped, you can get in there. I don't know if you guys can even see that color. It's a really nice color. I like it a lot. Um, what's up? I really um, like this one. And we're just going to put a little bit here and a little bit there and a little bit down our nose. And the good thing about it is just it blends in so effortlessly. And I didn't conceal under my eyes. Which I don't think I need that much today, but I'm still going to do it. And we're going to go in with medium from um, NYX. Medium. And we don't need conceal that much in the Just a little bit. Because this is not such a dark, um, what's that called? It's not such a dark eye look. But I do need a little bit of concealer today because I do look a little bit tired. And whatever's left, I'm just put on the sides of my nose. Now I'm going to put on, um, before I set it, because I did forget the other day, I'm going to put on my Mali Under Eye Brightener. And I really like this stuff. I see why it's such a popular seller on um, QVC. And um, not too much came out. You hear my son, he's singing. Okay, so then we just go with the finger. 
and then we'll set it and like I mentioned before this is very hydrating so for those of you who have not tried this or who are thinking about getting this I highly recommend it it is amazing it really does brighten up the eye and it really does um, condition it as well it does not dry out and it does not look cakey so this is what it looks like before I even set it so now we're gonna set it with my Mac mineralized skin finish in medium plus and we're going to use my highlighting um, tapered highlighter the F35 brush which I mentioned before I think it's like the best brush to use under the eye and you don't need that much this stuff doesn't go anywhere that's what I really like about Mally's products is that she's not kidding when she says her things are bulletproof this stuff stays on all day I'm put a little bit down my nose since I put concealer there. Okay, everyone, so I finished my hair. All I did was use my Numi Reverse Wand. This is the, I think it's 13 to 25 millimeter. And I just did these uh, really soft curls in my hair. And I really just grabbed it and tightened it here on the top of my bang so they can just kind of do like that Farrah faucet kind of thing. And that's really what I did with um, this curling iron. I didn't do anything super like special to the hair whatever um, and then I just put on these accessories I put on my the Amo bracelet from Jewel Mint and I put on um, my House of Harlow pyramid earrings because I really didn't know what to wear so I'm going to show you guys now um, the lip combination that I came up with and hopefully my hair won't keep getting in the way sorry I know that a lot of people hate when people fuss with their hair but if it's in your eyes I mean hello there's nothing really you can do about it so anyways let's get on with the lips um, let me grab this mirror so the first lip combination I'm going to try for you guys is the Tickle Me Pink Lip Liner from Starlux. I'm going to put that on all over the lip first. And don't mind me, I'm just going to look down into this mirror. I don't own a lot of pink lips. So this is one look. So this is what it looks like without anything on. It's a very um, vibrant uh, pink. And then I thought what would look really nice on top of it is from NYX. It's the Butter Gloss and Strawberry, Fri Strawberry Parfait. Oh my god, you would think I didn't speak English. Strawberry Parfait. And I really like um, this lip gloss. It, it, well, is it a lip gloss? I call it a butter gloss. Let's just call it that. And I really like how it looks on top of this um, lip liner. So this, excuse my hair, this is option number one. What do you guys think? And let me know which one you like the best. So this is number one. Okay, option two is from Pop Beauty and this is called Coral Crush. I'm going to put that on first. I just look at my mirror over here. Actually, it's just the gorgeous day that I And this, this color alone, I do not like it alone on myself. But I think that with this lip gloss, I'm going to show you guys. It's from Marvelous Moxie Bare Minerals. And this one is called um, Head Turner. Look how beautiful that is. That beautiful pinky glittery goodness. And if you want this, I know they don't sell it. Um, Sorry, my hair. In Sephora or in Ulta anymore. But you can still get it on the Bare Minerals website, is which is where I got mine. So I'm just going to apply that on. Like really pack it on. And I like their glosses because they have like a nice uh, mintiness to them, just like the Buxom. And I like the radiance, the glitter this has. It's new, so it takes a while to get the color out. So for those of you who like your pinky um, glittery lips, this is like the best option for you. can see that so this is option two okay option three is one of the buffs um lipstick and this is 920 nude lust and I thought it would look great with this next lip gloss so set that on <music> I 
And these Maybelline lipsticks are so moisturizing. I love them. And I love that little sound. And the next gloss we're going to use um, is by Marvelous Moxie Bare Minerals. And this one is called Scene Stealer. And like I mentioned, you can still get these at the Bare Minerals website. When these are new, you have to go in on a couple of times to get the color out. For those of you ladies who like more of a nudey pink lip, uh, I think that is good. Okay, well, so that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment box which was your favorite lip option. Was it option number one, number two? Or number three just let me know down below and I hope you guys enjoy this and I want to wish you guys all a happy Valentine's Day and I hope you enjoyed this series that I did of four looks for you guys I know I uploaded them in um not in numeric order but I just kind of did them according to uh, the way the weather would allow me to do them so anyways I hope you guys like this and I will talk to you later Bye.